I wish I knew back then what I know now. And so I believe that I have so much that I can teach you so that you don't run around doing things to try and make God love you. My name is Mercia Shonek, and I'm always excited to share with you what God lays on my heart. And today I just want to talk about the basics of our faith. Foundational truths that will help you walk in victory. What I want to share with you today is that you will know that God loves you. And that he loves you unconditionally. And that he loves you the same yesterday, today, and forever. God loves us when we are weak. God loves us when we mess up. God loves us when we fail. God loves us when we are feeling guilty, ashamed, and condemned. Although that is not what God wants us to experience. John 10 verse 10 says, The thief comes only but to steal, kill, and destroy but I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. When Adam sinned, the whole world plunged into sin. And immediately we were all separated from God. But God loved us so much that he made a decision to send Jesus. And Jesus willingly gave up his life for us. So that we are reconciled to the Father. And so when Jesus died, rose from the dead, we were reconciled. And now we have boldness to enter into his throne room of grace. In John 3 verse 16, the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In verse 17 it says, And God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And so with that said, we are reconciled to the Father. And we don't live in condemnation any longer. Because now we have fellowship with the Father. You see, we worship God in spirit and in truth. And our spirit has become born again. God, the Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit lives inside of our spirit. And we are sealed with the Spirit. Everything in our spirit is now brand new. And we live out of our spirit. I'm not sure about you, but earlier on in my salvation, I just tried to earn God's love and God's favor and God's mercy. I tried to earn his approval by doing things. Making things happen for me. Getting involved in things at the church that sometimes I think wasn't God's plan and purpose for my life. Wasn't what he wanted me to do. And I'm not saying don't get involved. Please do. Be involved in community. But every time there was a situation that maybe happened with somebody that I got to know and they rejected me or they abandoned me, I felt all of the pain. And it wasn't supposed to be this way and I felt that everything was my fault. If I got involved in something and it didn't work out, then, oh, I messed up and God saw me as a failure and he didn't love me. And that is not the truth. God loves you in your weaknesses and your failures and he's always rooting for you and he's always pursuing you. And so what I want to say to you today Make your relationship with God your highest priority. Have intimacy with him. You see, he wants to lead us and he wants to guide us and he wants to show us things to come. But if we get so involved and so busy with so many things, how can we hear what he wants to say to us? I would 
would encourage you to take time out and start spending time with the Father. And how do we spend time with Him? We read His Word. And we're not only hearers of His Word, but we are doers as well. When we read something and the words fall off of the pages and it speaks to our hearts, and then we determine we are going to change in this area. Now, God is not only telling us to do things differently, but he's also given us so many promises. Promises that I love you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not fear. I'm always near. I'm there for you. And so we need to know the promises of God. When God says, I've given you authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and all the power of the enemy, and they shall by no means in any way harm you. This is a promise and it should stir our hearts to take our authority. But if we don't know the word of God, then we can't stand and we can't step up and take authority. When we know that God loves us unconditionally, when we mess up and we fail and we will do that, we are so confident that God loves me. And so you repent and you ask forgiveness and you move on with the confidence that God loves me unconditionally. I want to encourage you today to make your relationship with God, your highest priority. God wants to speak to you and he's speaking to us constantly and we are not hearing because we are so busy trying to make things happen for ourselves. John 10 verse 27 says, My sheep hear my voice and another's they will not follow. I believe that we mess up and make mistakes because God is trying to speak to us and we're so busy trying to get his approval that we're not hearing and we're not getting direction from him. God loves you. Get to know the word of God. We have intimacy with God when we know his word and his word is his will. If you are wondering what is the will of God for my life, spend time in his word and you will know the will of God. So I, I just want you to know that today. Make a relationship with God your highest priority. Get to know God's word so that you can live this life of abundance. You can live a life of peace and joy, but it comes from knowing I am loved unconditionally. When people don't love me, when people reject me, I am still loved. And I know all of us want to be loved by people. We want to be liked by people. I like people. I enjoy people. I always want to be in fellowship with people. But I'm not I'm not feeling the pain as much as I did before because I'm always trying to make things work with people. There are times when people will just let you down and you have to let that go. We need to just forgive people all the time because we make mistakes and we fail. But if there's one thing that you are confident in is that God loves me. You see, our heart is always to do what's right for, by God. We want to honor him with our thoughts, our words, and our actions. But we live in a fallen world and things happen. And we can't continue to take it so personally. And get so disappointed and so frustrated when things don't work out the way we want. I trust this message has encouraged you today. And it inspires you to want to spend time and Fellowship with God and get to know God's word so that you can overcome all the time, every time. We are called. We are more than conquerors. We are overcomers. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so I'm going to pray for you. Lord, we just pray wisdom. We pray grace. 
We pray favor and Father, help us to have more intimacy with you. We desire to be intimate with you, fellowship with you. We desire to want to know your word and Lord Jesus, give us more of a desire to spend more time in your word so that we heed the warnings, we obey the instructions, we stand on your promises, and Lord, we succeed in every area of our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you were encouraged by this video today, won't you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment? I love reading the comments, and I love praying for people. And so I'm going to leave a lot of detail in the description bar. Have a look at that. I'm going to give you all the scriptures that I quoted. I want to let you know about my book. It's called The Journey with the King. I'll give you details as to where you can get that book. I'm also doing a monthly devotional that I will be sending out on email. So drop me your email address. If you're interested, I will get that to you. And so just be encouraged. Please make Jesus, God, your highest priority. Have fellowship with him. Spend time in the word of God. And I promise you, your life will change. Amen.